Hi, everybody. Doug Hippie from EAC Product Development Solutions with another tip of the week. This week, we're going to take a look at replacing Sketcher entities that have downstream dependencies that have children to them while you're in editing a sketch. This way, you don't have to go through and resolve failures that occur. If you do, delete a sketch element that has child dependencies. Let's take a look at it. So I'm going to go into my extrude here. And I'm going to edit the definition of that sketch. If I want to replace this, say I want to get rid of this concave face, and I want to make it flat, and I highlight it and select delete, it's telling me this entity is referenced by other features. Do I want to continue? So in this case here, I'm just going to say yes for now, just to show you what the result is. I'm going to create my new flat sketch element. We'll go in and trim it. And when I accept this, you're going to notice that it's telling me some features failed to regenerate. If I take a look over in my model tree, I'll notice that the first feature that fails is highlighted in red, telling me that's that round that is the child that's dependent on that feature. So I'm going to go ahead and say cancel here, and I'm going to undo those changes. And we're going to use the replace command from within Sketcher so that it redirects the feature ID to my new sketch element, and those child dependencies won't fail. We're going to go back in here, and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add my line chain. I'm also going to go ahead and trim the corners. All right, so now I've got this excess sketch entity here. That's the one that has the dependent children on it. I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to select replace. Okay. Pick on that. And then I'm getting a prompt down below to select the newly sketched entity to replace the old entity. So I'm going to pick that new one. And I'm going to go ahead and accept the fact that it can't replace those aligned or dimensioned entities. Not worried about that here. Accept my feature, and I no longer have the issue of that failed round, and my model continues to regenerate through to the end. If you want some more information on using this tool, feel free to reach out to your friendly EAC Product Development Solutions Account Manager. Tell them you saw it on Doug Hippie's Tip of the Week, and you'd like to get more information. Thanks, everybody, and have a great week.